Hey guys, my name is CMC. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more Total War Rome 2. We're playing on the Imperator Augustus campaign. We're using the Divide Et Impera and some sub mods. We're playing as Octavian. Octavian's Rome. Now, guys, in today's episode, we're going to be declaring war upon the Canterbury and having a surprise attack. Basically an ambush battle, but obviously, specifically and technically on the ambush, we're not going to be doing it. Uh, the scenario settings is going to be a field battle. But welcome back, guys. I just want to thank each and every one of you for all the fantastic support on the campaign. It's been great if you've left a like, uh, a comment, or you have subscribed before. Some of the comments are fantastic. Now, uh, funnily enough, I have made a fluff up. Completely forgot about. It's not too detrimental to the campaign, but uh, I have missed out on some bonuses. Now I was looking here at Brundisium, and this what this is what exactly triggered my uh, got an itchy nose. Fuck. Um, the fuck. Anyway, uh, sorry, I was getting just like <laughs> just flipping out, scratching my nose like I've got fucking Tourette's or something. Right. What triggered my thought process was looking at all these agents. I was like, "What is? why does Mark Antony have all these agents here? And I saw veterans, spies, and governors. And I was thinking, oh shit, I don't have any governors. So I've gone now to research the technology. Uh, we need five more turns before we can get it, so we can get governors. And having governors increases your tax rate yield um, and can give you some nice bonuses such as public order. Uh, and can give you some nice additional money bonuses. It gives you like a tax increase and stuff. So it's not that detrimental. I don't feel too bad. I did manage to, if you guys can remember at the start, squeeze 16,000. Yes, 16,000 gold. Um, is it gold or talents in this? I, I never can remember. Does it say? I don't know. It's gold. It's dragons. You guys know it's the fucking war chest. Um... But yeah, so we're going to have to go through that. So let's quickly recap the campaign as to where we are. So we currently have Legion 1 here. Made up of some really nice Praetorian Guard, Eagle uh, Cohort. Do have some Astorian Axemen, because I did lose my two units of Cavalry. We only have three, we have four Legions active in the field. So we have Legion 2 here, pushing up, about to declare war upon Canterbury and take the entirety of the Iberian Peninsula. Legion 4 is currently in Rome. Once we get an abundance of money and get some more cash in flow, uh, we, we're going to be able to recruit some of the best Roman units from uh, Roma itself. Now, up in the north, we have a full stack now. With Publius, two units of legionary cohort. The rest basically combined of tribal Germanic levies. Just basically barbarians, uh, Bertigalen, Gaelic, and Germanic. Just to basically defend Vesontio. Basically to deter any invasions. I don't think this would really stay off an attack, but... If you see a full stack of 20 men up in the north of Romans, I would be frightened, unless you can actually... See what the unit types are. But at least we have two professional legionary cohorts. I am not too... Well... Not too... Co oh! Marco Mani have taken Octoduron. Have they defeated the Helvetii? Yeah, the Helvetii have been defeated. I don't trust the Marco Mani. They've invaded me multiple times, never to attack me. They are being... Pretty bold. Um, I don't really trust the Barbarians, the British, the Gaelic, Celtic, and obviously Germanic here. The world is sort of split into nearly two halves. Mark Antony and his client states, Thrace and Egypt, the biggest. I always like to recap our media as well. Numidia is my defensive allies in Lepidus in northern Africa. We occupy the bottom half of modern-day France, Italy, and nearly the entirety of the Iberian Peninsula, and a small settlement in northern Africa itself, Tingus. I would like to defeat uh, and take the entire region here, but we're slowly finishing off the Iberian tribes. Once we finish them off officially, I'm going to have to assess the situation. Do I think I can beat Mark Antony? Um... One on one, I've been saying this for a while. I reckon, I reckon I can. I could hit him and hit him hard. However, it's his vassals, and he has so many of them. Um, I imagine most of them are going to stay. Obviously, Cleopatra is Egypt, and Thrace is 
quite big. So I'm going to have to be pretty concerned. One on one, I think we'll be able to beat him on the field of battle. Um, but well, he does have a couple of enemies. Maybe if um, if not, we maybe should focus, smash some of the... Uh, the thing is, right, this is the Imperator Augustum. This is brother first brother. Roman bloodshed will happen. We've knocked out Pompey. Lepidus is still in the game, or Lepidus, however you like to say it. I say Lepidus. Uh, Mark Antony is the last Roman faction then. Victory conditions-wise, let's have a quick look at it. We need 100. We currently have 38. We need Africa, Macedon, and a certain amount of regions. But uh, let me know in the comments, maybe your thoughts and opinions, tactics. Uh, let me know. But we're going to be declaring war against the Canterbury, so I hope you guys enjoy. Octavian himself is going to quickly run in and attack. We will declare war on the Canterbury. A war. So, it actually looks like they're going to hold their ground. So, they have six units of Skutari swordsmen. Skutari spearmen. They have five. One unit of South Iberian cavalry. Uh, one unit of spear band and slingers. So, we do outnumber them with archer superiority. We have two units of cavalry compared to their two. Well, we technically have three, including the general unit. One unit of Roman Ballista, two Astorian Axemen, three units of Praetorian Guard, the Eagle Cohort, and the rest made up of Armoured Legionaries. So let's fight this battle on the field. Guys, if you still are enjoying this Octavian campaign, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. It's a great way for me to gauge if you're still enjoying the series, of course, and obviously subscribing keeps you up to date. You can check out my social media links as well, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram if you want to stay connected with me. So let's get into the battle against the Canterbury, finishing off the last of the Iberian tribes. We knocked out the so-called Iberian faction, but here we go. So they're sort of making a line here. I'm quite happy to sit back, relax, and soak up as much of their engagement as possible. We do have Archer Superiority. I wish I could go with a heavy shot, or a heavier shot. I might go on the high ground just here. Uh, Cavalry-wise can go on the flanks. We also have uh, a giant ballista to rain fire and death upon the enemy. Octavian will be here as well, but we've basically been getting our troops up, blooding them, ready for the inevitable war against Marcus, Antony, and Cleopatra. <laughs> right, let's get into the battle here. Let's have a look at some of their units. We haven't really faced a really decent Iberian. So let's have a look at these swordsmen. Obviously, Iberia has some of the best sword units in the game. Some of them even... Uh, Can, well, not quite as good as Rome, but they will give us a bit of a, a run for our money, I think. Right, let's quickly turn off skirmish mode. Let's start the battle now, shall we? So we have my Astorian Axeman on the flanks as well. Don't usually like these guys as a unit. However, seeing as we've lost our cavalry and these are the best units we can recruit, I will tweak my armies because this army is not quite how I like it. I would like more Praetorian Guard and, and cavalry, to be honest. Archers, get ready to take aim. Alrighty. But it looks like we're about to be engaged here. Let's get... Oh, Octavian to run down some support. So my archers are loosing. Let's get some shots off with my Onigas myself. Oh, just missed. Just missed again. This is woeful. That's a good shot, though. If we can get another one in here. We might be able to break this unit here. Nice. Our general's under attack, apparently. Right, let's move back Octavian then. 
Alright, let's get some counter charges going on. Let's throw the enemy back. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Go, go, go. Peel off and flank around. So, they're throwing, actually, the majority of their force on the left-hand flank. Quickly now. Men that are not engaging, oh, what I want you to do is to pivot and flank around as best you can. Cavalry can come around as well. Let's get some flanking maneuvers. Right, go, 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 go. Archers, focus all firepower upon their archers. Same with my great ballista as well. Let's get some fantastic volleys off here. Wow! Spectacular. Alright. I want to try to get some cinematic shots, so tactically, it's not the best. Alright, let's quickly throw these guys in now. Alright, let's move back my archers. I feel like at this point they're not really going to add anything apart from uh, friendly fire. Same with my ballista. There's a time where you need to halt because it's just going to cause way too much friendly fire. Alright, let's start running down some of the stragglers here. I also would like to get some more hammer and anvil strikes on. We're engaging them here. Where's the where's the eagle cohort? Oh, the eagle cohort is the unit that's actually not engaging anyone. Right, let's hit them here then. Brave men of the eagle cohort. If you're wondering what I press to get rid of the HUD and get into cinematic shot, it's K on my keyboard. Right. Um. I like to mix things up if we get some cinematic shots. It just looks great, this mod. And uh, Rome in general. I want to get some actual like kill cams or something. Small engagement here. Right, let's continue. The battle is turning in our favour. Right, let's swing down and around. Continue to try to break these units. Let's get Octavian to drop some more buffs. I really do like what they've done in this, where you don't have to drag and drop the buffs. You can just basically click and collect. Like your... I don't know. Wherever you live, shopping at Woolies which is Woolworths is the main shopping sort of centre in Australia. I guess it's Tesco in the UK. Uh, what else is it? What's it called? Sainsbury's. I've actually been to Sainsbury's. Uh, America, I guess it would be what? What, what? What's the big supermarket brand in America? In the United States. Sorry, you've, I've just lost the entirety of my American subscribe base by doing an accent. <laughs> My apologies. Mind you, I'm sure you've done a pretty good Australian accent at some point. Probably better than mine. Right, um, it would probably be Best Buy. Can you buy food at Best Buy? I imagine. I don't know. I've never been to America. Would love to go there, of course. We're going to continue to speed things up and try and run down as many of them as possible. We're obviously not in a siege battle, so they will escape if we don't run them down. And we need to kill as many of them as possible. So, go, 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 go. If there's a cluster of them, I'm quite happy to let my archers get some target practice underway. I'm nearly quite happy. Because my legionaries are so heavily armoured... I'm quite happy to let my archers quickly run and try and get some, pull out their shivs, get some stabbing on. Octavian's coming into the field as well, the field of battle. I did in the last battle, didn't get a, a kill with him. I want to see if Octavian himself can do the deed. Here he is. Come on, Octavian, kill someone. Here we go, yes! Straight in the right hand shoulder from this perspective. Octavian has killed someone. Very nice. Showing his men how it's done. I really do like when my generals can get some kills. Shows they have balls. 
I also like running down the enemy. Gets up your chevrons. Easy kills. The more chevrons you get, obviously, gives you some nice bonuses. But a pretty nice battle. A nice short battle. Uh, I might start speeding things up now. I only sort of let it go real time to see Octavian. <laughs> let Octavian hit someone. So there's 24 Skitari there. It's pretty hard to see the routing units because you can't really see them otherwise. They don't show up on the map. Yeah, they are. But an eagle cohort is chasing them from behind. So, where are we sort of looking? So, there's only 21 in that unit. Uh, doesn't look like they're chasing down anything. Is Octavian actually chasing down anyone? No. So, let's end it there. A decisive victory. We ambushed the Canterbury. Oh, my God. A decisive victory, to say the least. That was a huge massacre. I feel bad for the Iberian people. 235 Ro Romans died compared to the entire army nearly perished. The Canterbury deployed 2,950. had a really cool mask as well. Lost 2,883. We captured 1,146 prisoners. Wow. We're obviously going to enslave them. We haven't had, like, a huge sort of capture, I guess, of enemy units. Because when you capture a... Uh, enemy men in this, you can actually sell them. Now, that 1,000 men, you might be wondering, well, where's that gone? It's been spread out a, 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 about the empire. So, 31, it's actually not too... Ex it's like there's not that much. Once it gets to about 50% slave population, you want to start selling off your slaves. Um, unless it's just gone straight to Iberia. Now, it's sort of been spread all about. It's been increased. I'm better off not selling the slaves, uh, waiting until they get about 50%. I'm still better off to to have the tax rate edict. So we're going to be pushing upon their settlements. I do need to keep an eye on my public order getting 14. I might exempt this region from tax. No, it's, it's okay. It's fine. All right, let's do a save after that battle. Let's end the turn, and I'm going to have a quick sip of Water. Water. Avana. Avana Humpelot. <laughs> Jesus, I watched that recently the other day. If you haven't gone and watched Austin Powers, my God. Such a stupidly funny movie. Oh, I fucking love Austin Powers. It's the reason why the James Bond movies are so serious. Now these days, which is interesting. That's what Daniel Craig, I think he said, or one of the lead writers for James Bond. All right, let's continue to push. Nice little fact. Rambling with Simpsy. Let's push upon the Canterbury capital. A clear cut order resolve. Two more settlements to go before we've taken the entire entire entirety of. Um. All right. The Iberian Peninsula. Right, let's push up now with Legion 2. And we're going to complete the Shade of Red. Nicely done. Occupy, of course. Alright, so what is sort of left of them? One unit here. One army here. But at the moment, they are rotting. Is there any sort of armies? I, there was an army here. Because this was actually their settlement in Tingus before Latin rebels took it over. But apart from that, it looks like Canterbury are going to be slowly, but surely, rotting away. 
Right, so we've taken that settlement now. I'm going to break that down. We don't need that. Let's convert that to a church. And we'll upgrade the settlement in due course. We actually can get some legionary equites. I might actually get some of them. Let's disband those Astorius Axemen. Because we'll be able to rally up soon. So... Let's end the turn. We do have some unassigned skills with my generals. Uh, get some more authority. If you want to level up your... Generals, I highly recommend you do. Um, stick a veteran in your army because my current veteran is ranked what three six eight level eight it's kind of it's kind of hard to read the stars it should say down there how many I didn't just counting them and having a quick glance um yeah I haven't done anything with him kept him in my army so now he does he's a pretty high rated veteran so now he can go on he has better chances of actually assassinating people but guys um that's in the that's in the turn. Oh, I forgot I didn't do all the honest one skills. And then we'll have a quick look if anything exciting happens during the end turn phase. Um obviously my generals are sort of saying what bonuses. So if you want to download and play the divide or in the Imperator Augustus campaign is free. Uh as soon as you buy a copy of Rome 2, which is great, it's a pretty good campaign. Uh, divide et impera. Now, the mods are in the description below. I do have some other sub mods. Interesting. I knew something would happen during the end turn phase. I had a fucking feeling. Um, yeah, I've got the Rome 1 music sub mod in the background as well. Creates that Rome 1 nostalgia. So, my ally has been attacked. The Gatuli Eye. Um, this actually gives me. Yeah, fuck. Um. No, I'm going to enter war on Allies' side. And they've actually attacked me. Interesting. Huh. I wonder if they plan that. So the Gatulio have taken my settlement here. Ah. Oh, no they haven't. That looks like they sacked it though. They do have a settlement in the region that Tingus is in. Because I do want, I did and do want to take them out at some point. Invasion force has landed. We're going to have to have to quickly swing around and deal with them. Wow, they absolutely <laughs> shredded it. That's insane. So we'll swing around, hopefully take them out. They do have some elephants, African levies, some Numidian spearmen, mercenary Numidians, and some tribal slingers. I did actually get rid of those two units. Fuck. Of those Astorian Axemen. There's actually some better soldiers here. We'll get them. But. Canterbury are slowly rotting away. So now we do have the entirety of Hispania. Lower part of modern day France. Italy. We're going to be able to take, or hopefully fight the Gatuli on now. Uh, yeah, they're slowly rotting away. I would like to run them down, but we're not going to be able to be quick enough. I want to send this army back, actually. I want to send them down to actually... I feel like I said actually a lot there. To focus on Tingus. They actually... Oh, fuck. They have a... <laughs> They have a pretty big host. Uh, I'm going to swing my fleet down to Tingus. Because if we leave these armies here, they might be able to take a couple of these. Why is it a minus 89? Oh, it's because of just the region being absolutely fucked. Alright, let's try run these down the best as we can. Let's go with an aggressive. Let's try to quickly get them. Get them over and done with. 
kill them, because I don't want them to come back. Now, is this the last army? Maybe. But it's time to end the video here, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really much appreciate it. Check out my social media links, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below if you want to stay connected with me. But so yeah, have a fantastic rest of your day. Stay tuned for more content on SimC Total War. Let me know in the comment section down below where I should expand after this. Probably Northern Africa. Finish off the Gatulii and their, their armies around Iberia. Uh, we could push north. Uh, push against maybe some of the Barbarian factions. The British, the Celtic, Gauls, uh, Germanic factions. I do and will end the campaign once I finish Mark Antony. Oh, what's taken that? Is Numidia at war with Lepidus? Yeah. No, they're a client state. My mistake. So it looks like Egypt has taken this settlement back. Oh, wow. Lepidus just has Carthage. That's a pretty key settlement. That's a key cog. I was arming and arguing whether or not to hit them. But Pompey has been defeated. Lepidus has been as well. Still my defensive ally, along with Numidia. Maybe I need to get some more alliances of my own. But mostly, everyone hates me. It's time to end it here. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Let me know in the comments where you'd like me to expand. Expect more content on SimCity Total War. I'm not quitting YouTube anytime soon. I have to end it here, guys, now. Goodbye.